What is up, guys? Welcome to episode 6 of Ogie's Odyssey. And, uh, look at what we have here. We have, uh, completely finished the skeleton spawner. All we need to do now is, um, make it a bit pretty. Got all the wiring and stuff done. All we need to do now is flip the switch. And this will be the first demonstration. Don't worry, I, don't, I didn't forget about you guys. I made a uh, tutorial, which you will see in just a second. But, um, yeah. That wasn't a lot of skeletons, though, so. And actually, this might make it a bit better, is if I do that. So, uh, let me, let me wait, and we'll see if that makes anything better. All right, guys. So we're gonna design this using uh, Sumovid's uh, design. And what we first need to do is dig down two blocks on this floor all the way around. So we're gonna go ahead and do that, and then I'll bring us back when we're done. All right. So we got the two blocks dug, but uh, we forgot a step. What you want to do is find where your spawner's at, but you're supposed to do it before you dig down the two blocks. And you want to make sure that all these are four blocks out, so you'll get a nine by er, a nine by nine room when you're done. So let me extend all these walls out one real quick. <laughs> all right, so um, I got all the walls dug out, and if you haven't already, fill in the gap where you came in. So it's just a big nine by nine square room. A good way to tell is to go right underneath where it's at and go one, two, three, four. Go back one, two, three, four. It's just an easy way to uh, tell if you got it right or not. And we're going to go ahead and completely deactivate this. Um, just go ahead and put the torches on the walls right in the center. Each one. And then take off these ones. And, um, so I had to think real quick, but, uh, what you're going to want to do next is to do that, uh, just pillar down from the ceiling. <coughs> and then, you want to go it, go to the back corner, put these three, I mean, you can leave them when you're, when you're, uh, digging too. But then you're wanna, gonna, gonna, want you're gonna want to take your water buckets you need two water sources and you're gonna wanna put them out here on each of those and then you wanna dig out right here 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 and here and here and here and then just dig out this space that the water doesn't reach to and then that should make a flow that goes directly to the middle block, which you're gonna want to dig out three. Oh wait, I forgot sign. Or no, two. Hold on, I have to think about this. Yeah, two. But I forgot a sign, so I'll be right back. All right, I got the sign, and um. I figured I figured out what was wrong or not what was wrong but something that we didn't do is it supposed to be four high which I should probably put a torch there and um, then you want to put the sign back here but there's an important thing that you have to know when building this if you hit F3 and mine the lag spikes in this but if you hit F3 the wall that you put these on the F, if you see in the top left, it's right, it's right here. The F has to be two or one. It can't be three or zero. But um, all right. So, oops, I keep taking screenshots. Oh well. After that, you want to dig out the eight blocks. And I don't know why I put or why I dug that out. But uh. I forgot the sticky pistons, didn't I? 
Yeah, I did. But, um, let me go grab those real quick. <coughs> Alright, now that we're situated, what you want to do, put your water back in there. Fight. And then go into the thing. And then you want to dig. Oops. Then you want to dig down four blocks. Which is probably not safe for me to have done that, but I don't really care. And then you want to dig out. Start digging this out a little bit. So uh, give me give me a second. I'll get this all dug out. All right. So now we can put our pistons in place. What you want to do is go up two, and then right here you're gonna want to put a piston. And then two blocks above that, you're going to... Uh, I got a pillar up there anyway. Where did it go? Oh. Um, yeah. The right here. And then... From that, you're going to want to, uh... Put your blocks down. That is going to be the stopper up there and the crusher right here. So the stopper, put a block. Crusher, put a block. And then around it, you're going to want to fill it with blocks. As well as... Like that. Yeah, that's right. <clears throat> Alright, to do the redstone, you're going to want to take out your torches. You're going to want to start out by putting two blocks there, redstone torches on the front like that. So that'll automatically activate the crusher and the stopper at one time. From there, you're going to want to put these blocks right here. This one, actually let me move this torch. Oop. Keep doing that. Um, God. Alright, buttons. This one right here is going to be a torch. And then right here is going to be a repeater. Which will take that off. And then above that, you're going to want to place this and this. Oop. That and that. and put redstone on top of them. Sorry, I had a brain fart. Alright, so now that you have that all done, you're going to want to put a block... Oh, jeez. I want to say here, and then... Yeah, that's right. Let me guess, I don't have a lever, but it probably... We... yeah, I have the stuff to do it. Alright. So, make a lever. Put it there. So that'll... Whoa. Alright, so that's not right. It, it is that block that I thought it was. Wait, no, it's not. Uh, confusion. Not good. I, th I thought it was this. If you had that. And then... Huh. What about that? It, mu it must be th this one right here, then. Oop. That's got to be what it is. Alright, so you're going to want to put a piece of redstone there. There we go. Alright, so yeah, that's what the problem is. <clears throat> Alright, so now you have these fully operational. But... You want to set up the timer so that it'll only bring them down to half a heart so that you can just stand here and punch them. 
So what you're going to want to do is dig out behind this an 8 by 4 square. Or a 4 by 8, I guess, would be better. So let me go ahead and do that. And that's a square. I'm at a rectangle. I'll be right back. Alright, so we got this dug out. And what we're going to want to do next... Well, luckily we came out here so I can make the entrance over here. So that's a good thing. But what you're going to want to do next is put a block that, right behind that torch. And then redstone wiring to the right, to the right of it. And then the rest of this is just going to be a repeater. So you're going to want to... Uh, there's a block there. Gonna wanna go all the way up. Well, not all the way up, up to there. And then back down. And then back up to one block. And then back down all the way. And then you're gonna wanna put all these on three. Well, four, but you're gonna wanna right click all of them three times. After this, there's just one little step more besides taking out the torches, and then you'll be all good to go. So you're just going to want to connect it with redstone, and then, voila, you're done. What will happen is when you hit this, the crusher will keep going, and then... After a while, the crusher will stop, and the uh, the stopper will stay there, so that it, you can't it won't let anything else. So what to, what you do after that is once you uh, once you empty once you empty the uh, mobs, you just hit this again, and then that'll let all the mobs come back in. So I'm gonna go ahead and break all the torches. Um, I advise that you go on peaceful mode for this, otherwise there's not really going to be an easy way to do this, unless you hollow out behind each one and do it, but uh, I didn't feel like doing that, so I'm just going to, I'm just going to knock them out this way. Alright, so, we have all that done, and now... It is 100% operational. Alright, we have a couple of uh, skeletons in here. I th think when I checked it said like 40. Yeah, 40. But, um, I changed this to 1 just to give it a little bit less power, this crusher. So, um, we're going to see if that works doesn't kill all of them. It's pretty nice. Alright, um... Let's see. Yeah, that should be fine. But, we'll leave that for now. I'm going to pretty this up off screen, but let's go ahead and get back to the base. Where is that at? Right there. Alright, where's the path at? Where the hell did I come out of? I need to get back. My chest is getting, or my inventory is getting full. Alright. Somehow, I have no idea where we are at. So I will see you when we get back. I'm sure I'll find the path pretty soon. Well, hey there, buddy. Sweet. Whoa. Um, don't need you. Alright, oh god, I don't want you. 
I don't want you at all. Let's get back. Let's get back. Let's get back. I don't have my sword out either. Ooh, but I do have 64 arrows. I'm not used to having arrows. Oh, well. Who cares? Alright. And coming up on the home stretch. Alright, so... I extended this out a bit. Uh, designed this a little bit. Went up. Started working up here. Haven't gotten too far yet, though. And behind there... I guess there's a little bit of a problem, but I'll deal with that later. I guess I forgot to torch it up in there or something. But anyway, I'm going to go chest some things. That's pretty much all I had planned today. So this is going to be a pretty short video. But I just wanted to get that spawner built. So we can start getting some levels. Although, since we have no diamond except for that, uh, we're going to have a bit of trouble enchanting stuff to begin with. So, yeah. Alright, what else goes in here? You do. You do. You guys can watch me sort my crap, and then we'll be gone. You do. You go in there. So do you. And the rest of you, I, I guess you can just stay in here. Oop. Yeah. Alright. <clears throat> I'll just keep all the rest of this stuff with me. For right now. But um, I'm going to do a little bit of work off screen. And then I'll update you with whatever I did. Uh, in episode 7. So I'll see you guys later. Have a good day.